Morning everyone, it's Lucy Clark from Mind Food and this is our second session um, on uh, the five ways to well-being and today we are talking about um, taking notice and I think probably when I'm told to take notice, well certainly in the past it's given me a great sort of pang of ah, why would I want to take on any more? Why can this possibly so be so important to take on more information when I'm feeling completely overloaded already? And you might actually be surprised to learn that you um, that taking notice or paying attention um, is weirdly restful, and that's because the aim is to establish what's happening right now, so that you can dampen down your flight and your fight and flight responses. So being in emergency mode all the time just is incredibly exhausting. So, um, and of course, your fight or flight responses in the past have been key to survival and they could be again but really you don't want to lose your ability to distinguish between emergency and emergency and this is really what happens when you become hyper vigilant um, you may think this is a really useful state to, to be in but actually by seeing the threat in everything uh, means you probably wouldn't be very ready for anything at all um, it's rather like spending a spending all of your time and effort um, training for a big race only to find that you've got nothing left to give on the on the big day you have to keep something back in reserve and um, if like me you're a busy thinker you will find it all too easy to get caught up in thoughts about the past or worries about the future um, and it's worth having a taking a moment really to think about how much time you spend in now how much time do we spend thinking about now probably not that much and that's just an incredible use uh, misuse of, of headspace it's a waste and um, I've heard it said that uh, worry is a misuse of your imagination. I really like this idea because a lot of people who are creative are busy thinkers and um, and being creative is amazing because it means that you can come at, you can make something out of nothing but of course the downside is that you can make something out of nothing. Uh, yes yeah, so um, so taking time to notice life in the present um, spending time actually living in the moment and being awake to the physical world whoop, like, <laughs> been playing across the uh, table here um, is is really about teaching yourself not to stoke your most primal danger instincts um, you really just want to you know give yourself a break really and it's a bit like connecting that we, we spoke about yesterday so it's about reaching out and uh, getting a grasp on the real world around you when you take a moment to stop and take in your immediate surroundings, uh, you'll find that probably there's not that much uh, that's causing you stress, anxiety or concern. There's no immediate danger um, that is, uh, you know, basically your fight or flight um, senses have been firing unnecessarily. And if you do find that looking around you, uh, there actually is a lot of uh, stuff that's distressing, then it can be really useful to find uh, a spot that's more neutral um, to give yourself a bit of a, a head start, really, as it were. And, and of course, there are um, mindfulness exercises that you do with your eyes closed, which uh, is, um, is another useful uh, tactic. So what you're going to do is you're going to do like a taking stock exercise. So you're going to pay attention to uh, your thoughts and what's happening right now. And for five to 10 minutes a day, uh, or even just in individual minutes throughout the day, you're going to learn how to detach thinking about the past and the future, just to focus on what's happening right now. And, um, and you'll actually notice how few of the things around you you need to react to negatively. And some of the most useful guided meditations, uh, for example, the ones that we uh, recommend are the Mark Williams ones from Finding Peace in a Frantic World, they actually focus on this aspect. So they're all about looking at your thoughts and not being carried away by them. But if meditation isn't for you, then uh, it can be worth just taking time to look around you. Is it really all that bad? Is there anything that you can see that you can be grateful for? Is there anything that you're drawn to that actually brings you joy and actually you may find that there's a lot to be positive about and this is where drawing on your senses in a natural setting really really helps because you're really power loading your surroundings with lots of vibrant uh, life beauty and color you're really setting yourself up to uh, notice now in a super positive way 
Uh, so you'll actually feel settled, sort of double quick. So I think, uh, just to round off now, I think we should have, um, I think I'm going to get you to bring yourself back to now, right now. Uh, so I just urge you to have a little uh, minute or two now, just to look around you. What can you see? What can you hear? What can you smell, touch or taste? And savour it and let it restore you for, for a little while. And you can do this as often as you need to do. Um, it's only going to take a minute, so uh, what's to lose? I hope you enjoyed the session. Thanks very much for listening. If you liked it, please like us, love us, or follow us wherever you found us. And as ever, if you could forward it on to somebody you think it could help. Bye.